thought I would show you my new Hella headlights. Hella! And I thought I would give you a friendly advice of not to do what I did. Remember I've been saying for like three years I'm going to get new headlights? I shouldn't have done that. This headlight assembly has the wiring harness built inside. Which is good and bad. Because you can just replace it and you're fine. But here's the bad thing. I let it go so long that this left one, the bulb went out. So I'm thinking, oh good, I'll just put a new bulb in. I had a spare already. I always plan ahead. So I had a brand new one to put in. Popped it in, nothing. I rummaged around. I found an old spare bulb that was used, but still good and it had on the box. Old, you know, DS2, whatever, uh, by Xenon headlamp, but still good. Used, but good. Put that in, didn't work. And here's the big thing. When I opened up the back to look in, you know, you take off the little cap in the back over here. All the wires in here look like something from a uh, Pharaoh's tomb. I touch the plastic, you know, like just like to unplug the uh, the uh, igniter, the little red box. Unplug the igniter. It all crumbled. All the all the insulation came off in my hands. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. That's the first time I've seen them like that. Usually when I touch them, they're just rubbery looking. So I thought, oh boy, that's not good. So each bulb I put in didn't work. Next one didn't work. Next one didn't work. So I knew I was in trouble. So I said, the wiring harness is bad. So I ordered one. And then Fabian is correct. You got to take off this whole front facade, this whole bumper. This whole thing, you know, the whole thing has got to come off. Just like when I got my front mounted intercooler. So the whole front bumper comes off just to put in one headlight. So it's about two and a half hours labor or whatever for the whole job. But it includes the bumper being removed. So you may as well get two. They're both going to be the same vintage. They're not going to be like one old one, one new one. So I said, let's do it. Let's do it. So we get the new lights. They go in. It still doesn't work. They transferred the igniter one to the other. Put this igniter on this one, this igniter on this one. This one still came on. That one didn't come on. Then they said, uh-oh, the ballast. And what's unique about a GTI is, well, it's probably all Volkswagen and Audi, is it's called the range control module for your headlamps. It's the range control module that makes it move up and down and, and determines how to do that. And it's also the ballast. So it lists as $551. ECS tuning had it for 421. A local distributor matched it, so we only had to pay 400. But that's what we figured out. We took the ballast from this one, put it on this one, the, ra the range control module and ballast. Then we put this one on this one. Then this one didn't work. So that's how we knew uh, that that was what was wrong. So a lot of money, man. My advice: rush out right now. If your GTI is more than five or six years old, rush out. Forget about reconditioning the headlamps. Don't be cheap. Buy two new headlamps and then just pay for the labor to change them and you're good to go. I had to change the headlamps, pay for the labor, and also buy a ballast. So, but look how nice they are. Very nice. Let me put them on so you can see it. Real quick here. Oh yeah, we got the flash to pass lights. Let me just put on the regular lights. I think they're brighter than before too. They just look great. I think Hella's upgraded them. And they look a little different. See, in the turn, the turn, it's got almost like little lines in it. I don't remember that before. It's really cool. So that's what they look like now, brand new. No more eyelids. We're staying away from the eyelids. We're just keeping the clean look of the headlamp. So these were what the, head, uh, the headlamps look like from Hella, original equipment manufacturer for GTI Mark V. Now these lights are called FTP. They're flash to pass. They never come on. And if your headlights are on, they don't come on. What they do is, I don't know if I can show you now, but if you turn off all your lights, okay, now they're all off. Oh, you ain't gonna be able to see it. <laughs> but, if I, if I pull back on this, like this, they come on. It'll show a high beam thing, but it really, what happens is when you push back like that, I'll have to do it at night. These will come on. When I did that, these come on. Only during the daytime. It's called flash to pass. Other than that, that's what they look like.
I like the way the turn signals look. They look a little different. I don't remember those vertical lines like that, but they look cool. I like them. They're nice. And it's going to get cold here today. Not as cold as up north, but it's getting cold. Let's see if I can drive away. And maybe you can see the flash to pass. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. I have it like 90. Ah, it feels like summer again. I don't like the cold. Who are these people that say the cold is great? Tell me one thing that's great about the cold. I'm not going to get into a diatribe about it, but... I'd rather be sweating hot than burning cold, or freezing cold. Oh yeah, if you can see my reflection in one of these vehicles, that would be perfect. Oh, there was me. Okay, hold on. Let's go up here a little bit. Okay, we'll go up on the side of the bus here as I'm driving to park. I got to warm up the engine anyway. It's freezing, man. It's 48 degrees right now. They say it may go into the 30s tonight. That's pretty darn cold for us in Florida. Okay, you really can't see my car, but you can kind of see its reflection a little bit. See the reflection in the yellow paint job? Now I'm gonna pull back on this stock like this. All right, and you'll see those center lights come on. See? That's those center lights that never come on. It's called flash to pass. If I have my headlights on, It just opens up that little that little uh, flap opens up and then if you put it on city lights you can have your fog lamps on and you still got the flash to pass option and if you got them all on let's see what this does I think my fog lights turn off which is the weirdest thing no they still come on or no, that's just the headlights. That's just the headlights. Yeah. Seems to only work when it's uh, when your headlamps are not on. The flash to pass option. At least on my setup. And it's like a war zone in here. You gotta go really slow. But that's what's new lately. Remember me mentioning I'm saving money for the headlamps. And I really was saving money for my StopTech rotors. But uh, good thing I had something uh, that I can do here. And uh, now we're kind of in a pinch now. i got to just work and work and save again. But uh, believe me, my friendly advice is get headlights. Don't be cheap. And I'm not saying you're cheap because I could say that I was cheap. What I was doing was, you know, you go, oh, it's $400 a headlight. I'm going to wait for them to go bad. No, nope, not necessarily. If you wait for it to go bad, it could happen what happened to me, which is it shorts out your ballast. If those wires lose their insulation and their toast, they could short out the ballast, and then you need a brand new ballast. There's a ballast on each light. It, like, creates 700 and, I forget, like 75,000 volts or something like that. And it, you know, it, it uh... I think it uh, changes direct current to alternating current. And that's what fires those headlights to come on. That's why these headlights are expensive, man. And that's why, if you get a new GTI, it's an option. On my GTI, they all came standard. My Xenon came with the car. So. Get headlights. Don't wait. Don't do what I did. And get two at a time because they have to take the whole front bumper off anyway. But I'm, I couldn't be happier by the, with the way they look. And I've gone away from the city lights. Uh, there, there's some talk that that it's not good to have them anyways. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit. But uh, Fabian does not recommend it because just put in the lights that are supposed to be in there. And that's what's made for it. This is a very expensive operation, the way these headlights work. You don't want to namby-pamby around with like a, you know, a cheap thing that makes it look cool and then it melts. And, you know, just stay stock. I think I've got 4,800 Kelvin. It's Sylvania, I think. I don't know which one they put in. I'll have to ask them. But it's it's the top of the line. It's the it's what they would use for the car. These are these are the bulbs that are supposed to be in the car from VW. So, and they look brighter, don't they? They look really great. They're a wider light, and they you have more visible range. 
the higher the Kelvin, the cooler they look, but the less visible range you have. People will see you, but you won't be able to see them. All right. I'll get out and look at my headlights one more time. You see, you can relish in the, the fever, the flavor, whatever you call it. Turn this off. The heat's off. The handbrake on. All right. Oh, that wind. Man, how do people live up north? That's what they look like in the morning sun. Brand spanking new. No more eyelids. Stay with the clean, original headlight. Think about it though, I bought my car 2007 of November, it came off the truck, okay, from Germany, it was made in Wolfsburg, Germany, and these headlights have lasted since then. That's pretty good. That's 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we're almost up to 9 years they were lasting. So, the wiring harness will go bad, replace the headlight. The headlight assembly has everything inside that you need. Don't mess around.